Hi everybody and welcome back to Let's Play Tokyo Xanadu EX Plus on the PS4. <laughs> um, so, last time out we uh, were able to save um, Aoi, Shinomiya's sister, um, from the from the eclipse. Uh, but just as we were about to get out, basically another eclipse kind of opened up <laughs> within an eclipse. Yeah, that can happen. And basically um, nicked her soul away. Um, and so then it's just been a case of us trying to find out where the fuck this other eclipse is. Where her soul has been taken and kind of captured. Um, so we went to the school to try and find that out. And thanks to Toa we were able to locate the server in which this other eclipse is um, living. And we found out that it's in the Nanahoshi Mall. So that's what we're doing in this part. We're heading over to the Nanahoshi Mall. Finding out where this um, uh, server is. Opening up the way to the Eclipse. And then defeating the Greed. The Elder Greed once and for all. Um, and yeah. I think this is the first time in the game that you're introduced to the Nanahoshi Mall. It's... Uh, pretty much an area where you can go and get um, new accessories um, to boost yourself up uh, you can go and uh, uh, buy new cores and stuff to strengthen up your weapons and you can also get your weapons kind of um, um, souped up as well uh, as well as being able to buy um, healing items and the like um, so it's a pretty good place to open up at this point in the game so you can just buy a whole bunch of um <coughs> sorry my whole bunch of whole bunch of bleh, a whole bunch of new shit which is really useful uh so yeah let's get that door open and get on with this <laughs> So yeah, here we are, in the server room with so many terminals. I don't know why a mall has a massive server room like this, <laughs> but it does. Um, so yeah, one of them is hosting the Gods app, and so we've got to open the, find and open the, um, <clears throat> sorry, find and open the Eclipse gate, and there it is. Lovely. All we gotta do is head in here and beat the shit out of the boss and save our soul. <laughs> Away we go. <laughs> Alright, spirit. Whatever. Spirit, soul. Same fucking thing. Time for us to go. Yuki's feeling a bit sorry for himself. <laughs> you can tell what's gonna happen here, can't you? <laughs> I like that. <laughs> Hiragi's kind of looking at him like, take note, please, <laughs> for next time. Holy shit. Take note, rather than jumping into the, this thing, you know. Maybe you should have taken a leaf out of Yuki's book. <laughs> So yeah, we have a little bit of um, Ugh, sorry, uh, we have a little bit of um introspection from Yuki here, where he kind of like realizes that he's not all he cracked up, he's all not all. Bleh, fuck my face, he's not all he's cracked up to be. Um, and so, you know, he's given his contribution, but at this point he just doesn't have the abilities that we have to kind of uh, continue in and save his sister. So he has to kind of <clears throat> rely, rely on us a little bit now. Kind of sees how, you know, uh, he's gained a little bit of humility here. And kind of like, um, 
He can't do everything on his own. And of course, this is when his uh, when his power kind of awakens. And so Yuki has uh, kind of a dual weapon, really. He has pretty much two weapons. He has his um, uh, giant hammer, <laughs> which looks kind of cool. It's kind of a um, his soul device is kind of a, a what's the word I'm looking for? It's kind of a understated kind of design compared to the others. Um, but he also has like a a drone that kind of floats alongside him that can shoot um, energy beams. Yuki is an odd one because he's basically just a better... He's just a better Ko or Asuka really where he has um, similar speed, similar attack speed to um, Ko and, Yu and uh, Hiragi, but he also has like uh, significantly more power because of the weapon that he's using, the mace, the hammer that he's using. Um, because he's using that, uh, he has a bit more power, so he's just kind of more useful. Um, but in the end, I will say that I just genuinely didn't use him all that much. Apart from, you know, this opening uh, dungeon, I guess. And I think the reason is that mainly he's just... I just don't like the weapon. <laughs> really, that's all it is, comes down to because it's very similar to, in terms of speed at least, it's very similar to Hiragi's and Ko's kind of uh, weapons. But it um, has a bit more power, so it's actually more useful. But I just never liked the design, <laughs> so I just never used it. Anyway, <sighs> we're on to the second main eclipse of the chapter. Uh, this one is a bit longer. I think it's like, um, what, it's roughly <sighs> twice, I would say, twice the length of the other ones. And you see for this one, Ko and, um, and, um, and Yuki are the permanent, the locked-in party members for this one. And so you have to kind of pick which one you want, and so... We'll have Hiragi as backup, uh, just because she's um, uh, just because there are more of the special attack kind of uh, there are more of Hiragi's type there, if you like. But anyway, this one is a bit longer, and it also has a bit more of uh, what's the word? Uh, it has more of a puzzle element to it. Kill it. There you go. <laughs> yeah, so there's a bit more of a puzzle element. Yuki's kind of unique as well in that um, his long range attacks um, come from a completely different monster thing, and I. That was me pressing the wrong button. <laughs> um. But yes, um, whereas, you know, because Hiragi's kind of like shoots it kind of out of her hand and um, Sora and and uh, Ko kind of use the same weapon that they use to physically attack, they also use to attack at long range as well. So, uh, so uh, yeah, Shinomiya is basically, Yuki has the same, uh, is different in that his ability, he has like a separate weapon to use for long range um, compared to what he uses for uh, melee combat. So it's kind of, kind of unique in that regard. I don't think there's any other character in the game that does that. 
but I'm not 100% sure. I went the wrong way. <laughs> that was where that edit came in. I definitely went the wrong way, because I was a fucking moron. Can't shoot it. Shoot it in the face, there you go. Don't even know if it has a face, but shoot it. Out. Okay, let's get as much shit as we can get our hands on. And I think, uh, I think this what this is this the um, I'm trying to remember. I think this is the first um, eclipse as well, which is kind of which has multiple areas, whereas the other ones really up to this point the other ones haven't. They've been kind of one straight run through kind of thing. I think this one has uh, the first one to have multiple floors. It has a, um, a first area that you go through and then a um, second area before the um, like boss fight. I could be wrong, but I think that's the case. Alright, let's get some shit. Um, to be fair as well, it, what is a bit dull is that it has the same kind of... It is very similarly designed to the earlier dungeon that we did. Um, so, oh, die, there you go. <laughs> Let's open up another chest, shall we? There you go. Resurrection 1, that's pretty useful. I think that um, resurrects, you, resurrects a fallen ally with 30% um, of their HP, from what I remember. So it's fairly useful. Might as well try and use Shinomi as much as I can. I keep in interchanging between the names because I keep forgetting. <laughs> but yeah, Yuki. That's what I mean. There we go. I have to kill some more enemies. What am I doing? There you go, kill it. There you go. <laughs> Took you long enough. I don't know why I did that. Luna Soma, that's pretty useful. That um, restores... I believe the Somas restore life, uh, restore health, and restore... Special attack power, I'm pretty sure. But um, yeah, I don't really use it all that often. Alright, let's head back this way. Time for a boss, mini boss. Yuki, do your thing. There he goes, dead. And dead. <clears throat> nice and easy. Let's get that open. Like I said, Yuki's attack is um, pretty... It's a little bit slower than um, the sword fighters. Sora... Uh, sorry, not Sora. Um, uh, Asuka and uh, Ko. But it's not significantly slower. Um, so there you go. But yeah, P clothes. That's just an extra... Uh, costume for us to wear but not really 100% needed and there we go now we can head on up and continue on to the next area of the of the dungeon so yeah this one's kind of split up in half yeah it's the first one to be split up in half so you go through here you go through the gate and it teleports you to the second area um, and then you go through that and then it's the end of the dungeon and just the boss fight to go. But yeah, some of the later dungeons get really fucking long. <laughs> really fucking long. I thought it's a bad thing. Because the dungeons are. Uh, the later dungeons are really fun. But, um. It is noticeable how, um. long these dungeons carry on for. And this is a new obstacle. You just have to speed your way through it. Make sure you don't get hit. 
which is uh, pretty easy to do. So yeah, as long as you, as long as you keep an eye on them and dash through, you should have no problems whatsoever. Oh god! I always freak out as well when I need to move on, when I need to switch to another character, because you know it's a character which doesn't have, which isn't the weakness. Um, I always kind of have to back up a little bit and kind of freak out. Yeah, so we need to um, go this way because we need to open up that way forward. What was it? What the hell am I doing? <laughs> Just showing off. All right, you die. Well, that was quick. <laughs> well, you guys suck. Uh, still shard times five. I think that's just uh, an upgrading um, item used to upgrade your weapons and stuff and to make your weapons stronger. I think that's all that's used for. And SP, kill, kill. The other ones win, so I might as well stay with Hiragi. I keep switching back and forth. But anyway. Uh, might as well stick to her and cure potion times uh, cure potion two. That's pretty useful. I believe that recovers fifty percent of your health. I'm pretty sure. Uh, I'm pretty sure that's the case. Mead. So we got more some more. Um, that's uh, a cooking ingredient. So let's keep going now. We head back to the pathway where we. Um, had to turn away from. Like I said, this one is more of a what am I? What the fuck was I doing there? <laughs> this one is more of a um, what's the word I'm looking for? It's um, am I gonna go back? should go back, shouldn't I? Apparently not. Die. Thank you. New item. 2,000 yen. Yay! Money. Could always do with more money. Luna Mutton and Resurrection 1. That's useful. And that thing's dead. That thing's dead. There we go. Let's keep going. Uh, breath potion. Uh, what does the breath potion do again? I'm trying to remember. Oh, I think that heals your entire party. I'm pretty sure. And I've completely missed a room. I'm an idiot. More stuff. Speaking of the cooking stuff, I don't really use the cooking stuff all that much. But it is... Missed. <laughs> um, but the cooking stuff is pretty useful. Enables you to ha be able to, um, you know, make health restoring items which don't just restore health but also kind of give you additional effects like, you know, immune to poison and that kind of shit. Swiran. It's another um, core to make our weapons stronger, and that's a rare one as well, from the looks of it, so that's kind of useful. Hey, change to Yuki, there you go. Now kill it, there you go, that was super fast. <laughs> nice and easy, nice and easy. I always do that every time, but uh, basically, in the, in the mini boss rooms, when you kill an enemy and they drop a load of shit, if there's a load of shit on the floor, that will automatically get attracted to you, so you don't have to bother to pick it up afterwards. <laughs> so, yeah, there you go. <laughs> but I always look around just to make sure I haven't missed any, any, you know, items to boost myself up, really. Okay then, boss time. Um, this boss, I remember, is not... Not exactly 
super difficult. It's not really hard. It's just a little bit tricky to work out. I think the design's kind of cool as well. Kind of the f freaky spider, the astral widow. I do like that design. Looks kind of cool. Okay then. <coughs> Time for this boss. It's a literal bug, yeah. <laughs> Funny joke. A bug in the system. Yeah, so it's got... Uh, Aoi's soul is kind of trapped inside it. So yeah. Defeat this thing and we will save her. Save her spirit or soul. But in order to get at it, we're going to have to kill this thing. So let's get going. <laughs> Time to go. Um, this one in terms of it, it, how you fight it is a little bit different. Uh, early on it's not. Basically it has no... So what it does is to start off with, it, it basically gives itself a shield. And um, so instead of attacking it directly, what you have to do is you attack the pillars that it lights up. So while it's like that, it can't be fucking out, move out of the way. It can't be hurt, and it wants you to kind of um, destroy them. So then, what will happen is it will um, use all, turn on all five. Yeah, I think there's five. And you basically destroy them all, and then it will collapse, and that's when you use your most powerful attacks on it, and cause some real um, serious significant damage to it. And yeah, this is the first time we're seeing um, Yuki's most powerful attack. Ah, oh, shit. Look at the amount of health that's left, that's bull. <laughs> But yeah, usually one hit will take these things down, so just ignore the thing, whack all these to get rid of, to turn them off. I think there is a slight time limit, but it's fairly generous. It'll collapse, and then you smack it in the face. Bit of overkill, but there you go. <laughs> and it's done. It's actually one of the more annoying bosses early game, because... Um, where if you're not like uh, at the same level as it or a few levels above it then it can really take s cause some damage to you and it, and um, it's a, its health is also pretty high and beefy but it's a pretty simple thing you know you attack it like that until it uses and then it uses uh, so for the first phase it's basically you start attacking it and which cause some damage to it, it it uses the first pillar then once you get it down to half damage it uses all five of the pillars and that's when you want to c use your super attacks to cause it the most um, as much damage as physically possible but there you go and yeah how he's awake we have saved her soul from the giant spider <laughs> which is a phrase I didn't think I'd ever have to say but anyway <laughs> we're all done with that now God's app has been sorted out, and how he's been saved. And now Yuki's all kind of flustered and freaked out that that Aoi's just fine now, <laughs> and of course she has no idea what the fuck's going on. I feel better than ever. <laughs> it's like, what? Yeah, because Abby doesn't really know what the fuck's going on. It's like, why wouldn't I be feeling alright? Nothing's happened to me, has it? <laughs> and even now he can't even just accept kind, kind words from his sister. But, you know, 
He's got the smile on his face. He's happy that he's been able to save his sister. So, there you go. All's well that ends well at the end of the day. And so there we go. Yep, so the eclipse is done. And the God's app is finished. So anyway, that's it for this part of Tokyo Xanadu EX Plus. Join me next time. Um, we'll be finishing up with the cleanup from the end of this chapter, and we'll also be starting off the um, in-between mission, which will be focusing on Asuka. So join me next time for the next part of Tokyo Xanadu EX Plus. <sighs> See you next time.